All right, so I've got a fun activity for you guys today and materials are not very involved. You will need some leaves, assorted leaves that you collect outside. Some of them can just be from weeds, right? That's from clover, which is everywhere in the grass if you look for it. Uh, this is from a redbud tree. This is from our pear tree. Dandelion leaves actually work really well for this activity. Right, so just go out, collect a whole bunch of leaves. I probably gathered uh, maybe 30 to 40 leaves. Okay, and then on the back side of the leaf, you're going to color with marker. Okay, so you gather all your leaves. You also need some paper, plain white if you have it, or really just any extra paper that you've got. Um, this is for if I'm getting messy. I'll use that in just a moment and Crayola markers and a cup with clean water. Okay, so let's try the pear leaf. I haven't done that one before. Okay, so I take my leaf and with the paper that I can get messy, I'm going to color on the back side of this leaf. Okay, I think I'm going to do purple because I do love purple. And notice I'm coloring on the back side of the leaf, right? The front side of the leaf is much smoother but the back side of the leaf is where all the texture is, where you can see all the veins. Okay, so I'm kind of gently coloring on the back of the leaf with Crayola marker. And I'm really trying to take my time and get into all the little crevices. Okay, and just like anything in art, the more time you take, the better it will be. Okay, so I want to make a really nice print of this leaf, so I'm making sure that I color the whole thing. Okay, then I'm done with that paper. I get my paper that I want to put the print onto, and I'm just going to brush some water on, you know, about the same size as the leaf, and experiment with different amounts of water, right? And then I take my marker colored leaf and I put that upside down, right? Marker side down right on the wet spot of my paper. Okay, sometimes I do this and it turns out great. Sometimes I do it and I think, well, it might have been too much water. Sometimes I could even do more than one print. Mm, no, that one, the first print came out, the second one did not. A few minutes ago, I had I was working with this same activity. I got too much water, way too much water on the first one. The second one came out better than the first one, right? There's a lot of variables. Um, a lot of things affect what will happen. Okay, on this one, I colored the back side of the red bud leaf. This is actually from one of our fig trees. And... I think both of them turned out pretty well. I do wish that there weren't so many bare spots on the fig leaf, so I think I'm going to try to do that one again. Um, but I do love that red bud leaf. It has such a unique shape, and I colored it with my favorite color, purple. Fun fact about purple Crayola marker, when you do this um, type of activity where you're using Crayola marker and water, the water will cause the purple to separate and you can actually see different pigments within contained within the purple. So that one came out pretty good. These were done with the leaves of a dandelion plant. I think those came out pretty good. I experimented with more than one color on the leaf. Um, let's see. This is from Morning Glory. And of those two, I think probably the first one came out a little better. These tiny little prints were done with the clover. Um, here's one that I did that came out pretty well. I kind of like that because they, they look similar to feathers. But this is just leaves from a dandelion plant. And that took, that took a while to color six different leaves and make sure I colored them all in all the way but it came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. And it's got my rainbow. You know I love rainbows. 
Uh, here's another one that I did with dandelion leaves. But I used purple, mostly purple with a little blue on this one. This was mostly blue with a little green, and then mostly green with a little yellow. And those, I think, really look like feathers. So, play around with this. It is a little messy. If you don't like your hands to get messy, you might want to wear gloves to do this. Otherwise, just be prepared for cleanup. Okay, have fun!